Still ahead on Power and Politics, the uh, thinker, the professor, the best-selling writer Noam Chomsky is standing by. We'll find out why he says the international community failed Haiti after the earthquake. Controversial thoughts from Mr. Chomsky. There he is reading something right before our interview. He's coming right up. Stay with us. Tomorrow is the so-called Donors Conference in New York, a half-day event where UN member states, including Canada, are to pledge billions of dollars in, in support of long-term reconstruction efforts in the earthquake-ravaged country of Haiti. Now, despite the outpouring of relief efforts and dollars, very serious doubts about the way donations have been handled have emerged and aid distributed not long after those efforts began. Among those critics is the world-renowned activist, author, and academic Noam Chomsky. He joins me now from Boston to talk about that and some other issues. Noam Chomsky, always good to talk to you. Thanks for being here. Glad to be with you. Let's uh, talk about Haiti shortly after the earthquake. You did an interview, and you said this about the efforts on the ground in Haiti. You said, quote, there is aid coming in. We have to show we're nice people and so on, but the aid ought to be going to Haitian popular organizations, not to contractors, not to NGOs, to Haitian popular organizations. They're the ones who should be deciding what to do with it. Is there a risk to the people of Haiti about how this aid has been handled and distributed so far? Well, it was, it's difficult to second guess uh, and unfair. It was a very difficult situation. But I think that uh, there were things that can be done differently. For one thing, there was much too much of an emphasis on security. I think that's generally agreed. Uh, it wasn't needed. Uh, the aid should go to, as that quote said, to Haitians. Uh, they're the ones who should decide how their country should be rebuilt. Uh, a lot of aid has gone into Haiti over the years. It's mostly ended up in the hands of uh, those with the best contacts, those who are privileged, those with the facilities, in general to the very small uh, 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 wealthy elite uh, that uh, it's one of the plagues of Latin America, particularly extreme in Haiti, is a very sharp differentiation between a small, or often Europeanized or European uh, white elite and the mass of uh, poverty. Now, the Haitian people have done fantastic jobs of uh, uh, developing civil society. I mean, the fact that they were able to elect their own uh, president in the first free election, uh, which no one had thought that was even conceivable. There had been mass uh, gra grassroots organization going on in the slums and the hills. Nobody was paying attention to it. And without any resources, uh, uh, they came in and uh, elected their own candidate with uh, two-thirds of the vote. Well, he was thrown out in a couple of months by a military coup. Uh, but that's one illustration, and there are many of the capacity of Haitians to uh, organize, uh, run their own affairs, uh, do it effectively, design the kind of society they want if they're given a chance. And I think that's where, where uh, aid should be going to. First but of all, it shouldn't be aid. Mm -hmm. it, sh it should be reparations, uh, especially from France and the United States, which are responsible for having virtually destroyed the country. Uh, and from the rest, it should be uh, grants, not loans. It should be associated with the uh, uh, elimination, a canceling of the uh, debt, which is totally obscene. And then, to the extent possible, uh, the uh, assistance should be going to those who have a right to make the decisions about how to use it and are quite capable of doing so. Well, let's dig into that one in terms of aid. I mean, you know, Canadians who and, and Americans who donated hundreds of millions of dollars to Haiti, many it through organizations that, frankly, have very good reputations. World Vision, uh, Oxfam, they've been on the ground for a long time. These are these are uh, highly regarded NGOs. They, they, they uh, have the capacity and the experience to, to do uh, humanitarian aid work in emergency situations and in long-term aid situations. Are you suggesting that these are not the right agencies to be supporting? No, they're the ones you mentioned are the right ones, but there are many who aren't. Uh, my daughter works for Oxfam. She's been in and out of Haiti many times uh, working on projects, and they're very good ones. So who's the, which like ones are the wrong health, ones? Which, well, I don't want to 
insult particular organizations, but there are some, there's a tradition of NGOs which end up uh, using the money themselves or uh, you know, living a high life or uh, uh, associating with the uh, uh, powerful elites. And those are the ones, uh, that's not true of Oxfam, for example. It's not true of Partners in Health. It's not true. In fact, Partners in Health and Oxfam are both very striking in that they, their projects are to designed to enable Haitians to take over and run them themselves. But, uh, that's the kind of thing that should be done. Uh, Mr. Chomsky, let's talk about you. You talked about the too much emphasis on, uh, on the military. Uh, you wrote a petition, you signed a petition called Emergency Relief, Not Military Intervention, not long after the earthquake. What is the problem? You know, C Canada sent uh, two naval ships, we sent our DART team, our Disaster Assistance Relief team, partly to make sure there was security. What, what, what's the problem with doing that? The United States flooded the country with thousands of soldiers who were totally un unnecessary. In fact, they were blocking aid. Uh, doctors and the activists on the ground were complaining. In fact, other countries were complaining. Uh, this is a complete disproportion. What the people needed was uh, water, food, uh, medicines. Uh, there, there was, they didn't report any serious security problems. In fact, rather strikingly, in the Chilean earthquake that followed, there were serious security problems. They had to call in the army. But that didn't seem to be the case in Haiti.